Professor Holscher we've brought over from the UK to present at this conference. He's uh, leading and has led um, research in this area for a number of years and, uh, um, and is one of the research leaders in the UK which is looking at a really novel way of potentially identifying a new treatment for um, Alzheimer's disease. So what uh, Professor Holscher and his team and other researchers have done is identify that there, there is some real value and potentially a treatment target of, of the insulin pathway in the brain that could have an effect on on disease modification for people with Alzheimer's disease. So over the years we've funded a number of projects, other funding agencies have funded as well, and there's a critical mass of evidence that suggests a, an existing drug that's being used for type 2 diabetes could be an effective drug and a safe drug for people with um, Alzheimer's disease. So we partnered with a US-based foundation, the Alzheimer's Drug Discovery Foundation, um, and a few other funders to um, uh, pull together several millions of pounds worth of funding to uh, fund a large-scale clinical trial of this drug, liraglutide, to see if it may work for people with Alzheimer's disease. It's a really smart way of doing it. It's using this concept called repurposing, so we're not designing a drug from scratch that takes many, many years and many millions of pounds and, and dollars to do that. We're taking a drug that's already out there. We know a lot about it. We know what its side effects are. We know how it works. Um, and we're putting that into clinical trials in people with Alzheimer's disease. So we can speed up that drug development process significantly and fund these trials at a fraction of a cost um, that it, it takes for a novel treatment coming through. So hopefully if we get some really positive results this could be bringing through a new treatment in as little as uh, four or five years time that could be treating the symptoms but importantly could be slowing the progress of Alzheimer's disease. It's all part of the research to try and understand what um, type of person with um, Alzheimer's disease this drug could work for. The, uh, the trial is recruiting people with Alzheimer's disease and lots of tests have been done on them, blood tests, imaging tests, so that we can get a really good understanding, a really rounded picture of not just the drug and what effect it's having, but also of the population of people with Alzheimer's disease that are being recruited into that study. Because if it looks like the treatment is effective, then hopefully we'll have the information that can give us the idea of what, what type of people um, and what type of Alzheimer's, what stage of Alzheimer's um, disease these people have that would most benefit from this treatment. But we don't know if it works yet, which is why we have to be funding this research and, and conducting this clinical trial in the way that we are. Um, it's looking promising from the laboratory research that we've got, but we don't know until we've done the clinical trial in, um, in people with Alzheimer's disease to see whether this is a safe and whether it's an effective treatment for the condition.